Let's start with fruit flies. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's funny. I, I, uh, I actually uh, spent some time in Chernobyl looking for fruit flies because I, 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 my training is actually in genetics and entomology. And so I figured as, a, as a, an entomologist you know, and a geneticist, I, I should be doing work on fruit flies. And then uh, you can bring them into the lab and do all these things. And we got to Chernobyl. I went to Chernobyl one, one fall looking for them. And I couldn't find any fruit flies. And I was kind of baffled because there are fruit trees all over Chernobyl. And there's, so there should have been lots of, and, and they weren't being picked, of course. The fruit was, should have been just falling to the ground and rotting. But then I looked at the fruit trees. There were no fruit or very little fruit on the ground. And then I looked around and realized there weren't any bees. There weren't any butterflies or very few. Uh, and that's really what instigated the start of many of these census studies. Uh, and so, so it took us a while to get going with fruit flies. But we have been doing some work on fruit flies. And as far as I know, uh, they do have repair on certain of their chromosomes, but the, but the sex chromosome, uh, where there's only one copy, uh, is, uh, has less repair. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure there's some repair capability. Uh, the, um, the more important question concerns uh, whether or not there's any evidence of, one, a threshold below which there are no negative effects of, of radiation. And two, uh, and you bring up a word that I don't like to use because there's really very little evidence for it, uh, this, but, this, but since I've used it recently, I, I will mention it, hormesis. This notion that a little bit of radiation uh, is actually potentially good for you because it turns on DNA repair. And you, you, you know, there are a few folks out there who will bring this up and suggest that that this is what's happening. The truth is there, there, there are no good scientific, experimental scientific data uh, to demonstrate that this is indeed the case. From an evolutionary point of view, from a fundamental genetics point of view, it makes no sense. And the reason is that uh, there have been billions of years of evolution on this planet. Our genetic systems have been refined and optimized over these billions of years. And the truth is, most mutations that occur in all organisms either have no effect because of the redundancy in the basic genetic code, or they have a slightly deleterious effect. Any mutation of large effect is usually deleterious and kills the carrier, and, and so they disappear very quickly. Okay, there you got it. Any, anybody on the hormesis train and Coulter and company, the, the mindless hacks that occupy the airwaves, here you have it from a geneticist, Timothy A. Mousseau, who's done research. He is a bit of a waffler. I think all scientific types tend to kind of pretend their separation from the rest of life uh, we are, those who are screaming about Fukushima, he's still getting a paycheck from people that uh, fund his research. Uh, noble, very good, do your research, but uh, they're going to document the demise of all of life of this century. This is their big objective. Their, their objective is to, to document and uh, st satisfy, make statistics on how everything ended. Anyway, hormesis by a geneticist.